Welcome to What the It's like a colonic for your brain. Let's get a preview of tonight's show from Scott Birch in the recently fumigated KMBT newsroom. Scott, what have we got for tonight's show? Well, of course, Jim, as, you, as usual, you're wrong. If you could see my booming headset mic, I'm actually calling from the What the f helicopter. Tonight, folks, issue number one is, is social media making employees more honest? Is Jim going to have to stop Facebooking and actually do some work? Issue number two, researchers say liars can't completely suppress facial expressions. That makes sense ever since I caught James with that bowl of jello that one time. Issue number three, why princesses should never marry the frog. Opposites may attract, but they don't form long-lasting relationships. Well, that being said, my relationship's lasting way too long. When you say death to us part, you're actually setting some type of goal. And last and certainly not least, how women who weigh less than their husbands have happier marriages. Really? No kidding? Ah, thanks a, lot. thanks a lot, Scott. We'll see you at the end of the show. All right, the Supreme Court, the College of Cardinals, the cast of Jersey Shore. We couldn't get any of these people to appear on the show, but let's meet the guests we do have, shall we? Sitting in the far chair, it's library worker Jenna Christ. She's cuter than a smurf and a snork in a tiny cage pipe. In the middle chair, it's nurse and member of the com comedy troops of urban squirrels, it's Frankie J. She's so striking, when people are hit with a glancing blow now, they say they've been Frankie Jade. In between the ladies, it's the host of the award-winning public access show, King's Connection, it's Rusty King. If charm was a yo-yo, my hand would go up and down on him. Finally, next to me is former <laughs> Starbucks and Pete's barista and midget cage fighter, James Ilg. The penetrating insight was an electric fuse. Teenagers would blow him every time they wanted to crank up the music. <laughs> Issue number one, are tweets making workers more discreet? Carolyn Anderson, a professor of communication at Akron University in Ohio, go Buckeyes, contends that social media has become a truth serum for American workers who realize that there is no longer any place to hide from their bosses. She reasons that social media gives employers access to nearly every detail of their workers' lives, making employees more upfront with their bosses. With so many celebrities exposed by social media, employees are less likely to fib lest they be caught by it. But you know who won't have to worry about being exposed by social media? This guy. Ah, well, yeah. you, norm, you know, Scott would probably accuse me of that of being me, but I can't do the splits. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other thing is, Scott has all my questions in the newsroom, so I'm going to have to wing it now. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. So, so, Jenna, uh, you buying this or not? You know, I got so distracted by that exciting dancing. What are we talking about? <laughs> Will social media make you more honest? Oh, only for stupid people. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, like if you're dumb enough to post your vacation pictures from when you called in sick and your boss is your friend, then of course you're going to get in trouble and then maybe have to be more honest. But if you don't post things like that, you can still call in sick and go to the beach. Okay, but what if, <clears throat> you know, you don't post on Facebook, but, you know, when you hang out with your friends, they mm -hmm. take pictures of you and they post on their Facebook. Lock down Ooh. your settings. <laughs> Only stupid people will get in trouble. Okay. And don't go out with coworkers. Don't go out with coworkers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Rusty, you buying this? All I think <clears throat> is there's always going to be crime, and the criminals are going to have to improve. They're going to have to get better at what they're doing. That's all I can think. Mm -hmm. I don't work, so I don't have an accurate opinion on it. And or, did a social media make you honest? <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, I don't have a computer, so I'm way off on this one. But, but you have a smartphone, right? I do have a smartphone. You can take pictures, right? I can take pictures. And surf the internet? You're trying to turn me into a criminal. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, no, not necessarily, but make you a more honest person, right? <laughs> okay. I'm an honest person, yes. Mm. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Frankie, buying it? Oh, absolutely buying it. I mean, Hawks and, and everybody else out there with uh, electronic devices can see exactly what you're doing at all times. There is a big brother, and he could be sitting <laughs> right next to you. Hey, Frankie? <laughs> <Yeah>, smile. <laughs> Hawks? Like birds? 
I don't know. He, what did you say in the introduction when they were doing the pom pom things? Go yeah. Jayhawks. Red Hawks. Oh, Red Hawks. I believe that's the mascot Red. of Ohio State University, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, they're <laughs> yeah. watching you. They're yeah, watching. See. <laughs> well, don't worry, we'll Hawks. get letters. Mm -hmm. Anyway, James. So you, yeah, you buying this or yeah, not? Yeah, I mean, I'm right there with Jenna, and actually, really, I mean, after the show. You and me, okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, no, you've got to be really <laughs> insane to like to be posting these things on on Facebook, especially bitching about your um, your employer, you know, your bosses. I mean, come on, this is going to get out. You know, <laughs> I do it. All right. So for for someone who wants to play hooky from work or carry on an illicit affair, what would they do nowadays? Hmm. Maybe like what they do in the old days. Keep it to themselves. <laughs> well, you can't have an affair and keep it to yourself, right? What, at work? <clears throat> no, just in general, in general. I don't know. You could try, I guess. I don't know. So Depends you on who the affair is with. Yeah. It's your hands. <laughs> I know, oh. really. You know. <laughs> if it's, if or it's, German sex yeah. doll. Right? Uh, German, yeah. Or she Axel Grease. Talk much. Ax Axel Grease. Yeah. Yeah. Axel, Axel Grease, the German sex doll. We'll have to talk to the MacGyver of masturbation. Jolly. We'll do that. Checkers. We'll do that later. Oh, I would suggest stop after... That. <laughs> after appearing on this show, our futures and reputations are ruined anyway, Absolutely. so nothing matters for us after this. Oh, you had a reputation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I never forgot to tell one. him. Every, everybody has a reputation, whether it's good uh, or bad. Yeah. Right. The, okay. <laughs> the truth will out. The truth will out. His yeah. is checkered and mine's paisley. <laughs> <laughs> mine's tie-dye. Well. Yeah. Okay, but you know, with uh, with cameras everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, yeah. You, you can get you'll you'll get tagged someplace, right? Absolutely, yeah, right. somewhere. Yeah. Lock down your settings. Lock Make down it your so settings. no one can tag you. Okay. What or does get that your mean? Don't you know what, that means. what does that mean? Lock down your settings. Yeah. <laughs> what is that expression? Is it a metaphor? <laughs> no, no. In, yeah, yeah. In, in a, Facebook, I don't know. Okay. In Facebook, okay. you can alter your settings so that people oh. can't do things like tag you, or you can even make it so that no one can see you but your friends. So what if you don't or have your friends Facebook, can't do just certain things don't or do can't Facebook do Facebook at all? Yeah. Okay. It's also so I guess page I 402 stupid, in the Karma Sutra. Ig <laughs> ignorant oh. of Facebook settings. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that, that was, was very a, a great position, though. <laughs> yeah. See, pompous. but yeah, I, I get, it's more it's, pompous. I'm good yes. at that. So could, could you all live without being I'm on French. Facebook? I, I love it. I do live yeah. without you being were on Facebook. Oh, just yeah, pretty much. <laughs> could you guys live without being on Facebook? He doesn't know what uh, Facebook is. I so. am not on Facebook. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was going to do one of my shows and wanted to know a little more about my guests, so someone hooked me up to Facebook yeah. just so I could get to this guest I was going to have. People came out of the woodworks wanting to be my Facebook friend, and I've never befriended anybody. All right. So, okay, yeah. we got to, with that, we got to get up on our next oh, okay. issue. Mm -hmm. Issue number two, can your poker face hide your ace? And is your disgrace written all over your face? University of Buffalo professor Mark Frank reports that although liars can reduce facial actions when under scrutiny, they can't suppress them all. The results come from a frame-by-frame -frame coding of facial movements filmed during an interrogation where participants, some lying and some telling the truth, were asked to suppress specific parts of their facial expressions. Researchers found that these actions can be reduced but not completely eliminated, and that instructions to the subjects to suppress one element of expression resulted in the reduction of all facial movement regardless of their veracity. For more, we turn to our poker expert, Jaime the Manila Mahler Lama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> HL, your thoughts? He's watching Scott, isn't he? <laughs> oh God, that's, that's hilarious. Every time he smiles, I fold. I don't I know why. Absolutely. <laughs> I just fold. I, I just fold. never know. Either. All right, I'm going to well, start with you, Russ. You buying this? Yeah. You can't completely I hide think, it on your face? I think we can run a test right now. If, if they want to do a close up, watch. This is a great show. I think it could win an Emmy. <laughs> You're not hiding it that well, Russ. Okay. Okay. But he's ready to date obvious. you. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. There you go. Frankie, you buying it? I forget the question. <laughs> yes, am I buying this? Absolutely. So it's I impossible to completely I show. I absolutely think that you, you just can't hide your emotions. If you're really faking it, there's going to be a little something inside that comes out on the surface. Well, 
Mm -hmm. If you can't completely <laughs> hide it, can you hide it most of the way? No. No? No. You, 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 Something you, happens in, in the corners of your mouth or in your vocalizations. Like if you're faking it, you talk too much, you embellish too many details. Really? Exactly. <laughs> you get that nervous <laughs> twitch. That was a really insightful answer, Frankie. I, I really admire that. It's very <laughs> intelligent. And, and I, I, I'm just blown away. But, uh, yeah. Jenna, you buying it? <laughs> sure. There's things called micro expressions that can be caught on film. Um, but I think that if someone trains themselves enough, or maybe um, they're a sociopath, so they, they don't have like the emotions going on to influence it, they could they could train themselves to reduce it so that maybe it could be caught on film. But the average viewer would be deceived. Are you good at faking it? <laughs> Not so much, no. Uh, and so, Rusty, we know you suck. <laughs> I think anyone who's been to L.A. has realized that it's possible yeah. to totally fake it. No, no, that's acting. Okay. That's acting. Or, or maybe that's a thin line between acting and faking it, right? Yeah. All right. James, how about you? I never fake it. You never fake it? No. You're 100% real? Absolutely. <laughs> that's what she said, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, no, they're faking it with you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, see, that could very well be. Oh. Actually, we could, trust. We, could, we could try it now. I'm lying at this moment. Are you really? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I have no clue, but wow, you're pretty good. So do you have two aces in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds General, really unbelievable. Generally only one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, she really, really wants to. <laughs> You want some? You want some? No. <laughs> oh, so you're really sad. Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we'll have pizza at the break. It's okay. okay. <laughs> sorry. And then there's a bake sale going on outside right now. So you. Know. Oh. Yeah. They may have special brownies for you, Rusty. Oh boy. Ooh. But Yum. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know. I just ended up getting the the, the cupcakes and the cookies for the crew. Oh. So I don't know if it's good or not. But uh, all right. So uh, mm -hmm. so if you really did want to fake it, what would you do? Or just just is it impossible? <clears throat> or do you just Why not have people look at you? <laughs> what if you just bitches? try? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, try the truth. <laughs> I was going to say, as a <laughs> last know? resort, you can oh. always tell the truth. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's out of the box thinking. All but. Right. I mean, I can't, or, I can't or tell the, a lie. The best lies are misdirection or ob <laughs> obfuscation or, or um, yeah. you know, take a kernel of truth and expand on that. So, right. I mean, there, there are other yeah. options before. Beyond just bald face lying. All right, you know we're out of time, so lying, let's get to the next segment. <laughs> okay, issue number three. If opposites attract, do they stick together? Daily Mail columnist Flick Everett, yeah, like that's a real name, has concluded that while opposites attract, they don't stay together for very long. According to her, the foundation for the happiest long term relationships are based on similarity, not differences. A long term relationship is unlikely if you disagree on such things as honesty level, wanting children, spiritual beliefs and basic relationship ground rules. So, while we may be attracted to opposites based on qualities we wish we had, in the end, you still have to live with yourself. For a counterpoint, we turn to our bi-speciesist, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Rabbit. Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit, your thoughts. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's a dog. Look at that little tail. Dog's not even there. <laughs> well, his tail is down. What? Yeah. Uh, and, and they're biracial too, so you know. And then, you know they're, but anyways, uh, so I'll start with you, Russ. Are you buying this? Yeah. I don't know. My only personal experience was I had this goat, and I thought we got along <laughs> really good. I, I love, I love the goat. It only lasts like six months. I don't know. We just we had differences. You had differences. Yeah. So. Oh. That, it's my personal experience with it. Oh, okay. So, so you, you, you so does this mean yeah. you buy it or you don't buy? Well, it? I'm saying that uh, you know, different opposites attract. It doesn't last. It's sad too. Okay. There was a lot of chemistry going on at first. <laughs> what kind of chemistry? <laughs> I think it was static you know, from the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes. All right, Frankie. What about you? You buying this or not? Probably a lot of friction going on next door to me here. Huh? <laughs> I, I would think so. But, uh, you never anyway, know. did you go into the cheese business after that? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a female goat, though, huh? Oh. 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 Anyway, oh. Hey, joke on the guy in the flower shirt. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's more leafy, though. 
Yes, it is. Isn't oh, it? No. It's counterculture. Do I buy it? Yeah. Uh, opposites don't opposites don't last long. Well, not everyone is you know all one thing or all another. So I think even if you're opposite in certain ways, as long as you have certain commonalities. Um, so I sort of agree and disagree at the same point. Could I you mean, see yourself with a male version of yourself? I think we drive each other nuts. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, James? How about uh, could you see yourself with a female version of yourself? Mm. Okay, I'm assuming you're straight, yeah. so let's assume you're <laughs> <assuming you're laughs> straight. Okay. <laughs> All right, go with that. Don't go that far. <laughs> I might be going, going out, out on a limb. limb. That's right. <laughs> Put my shirt on. Oh, and then <laughs> yeah, says the guy who wants flowers on his shirt, <laughs> but really only has leaves. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's fall. He's been plucked. He's been yeah, plucked. That's right. He's been I've deflowered. Been deflowered. Oh, <laughs> I got his goat. That's what Ooh. it was. Oh. 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 That's why they broke up. They were passing it around. They've been cheating. He was too horny. So I hoofed it. <laughs> James got caught because he kept posting it on Facebook. On Facebook. You are milking this way too much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad run on joke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's corral this right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, James, would you go out with a female version of yourself? Female version of myself. Yeah, female version of yourself. Uh, you mean <laughs> we'll assume no facial hair on your female version of yourself. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay, that would help, too. Uh, yeah, no. Really good. Anyway, uh, yeah, why not? Sure. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, so if you think that, you know, opposites don't last for very long, if you're a gay person, does it work? Why are you looking at me? Why are we looking at you? <laughs> you got the shirt on. <laughs> That's like it makes any difference. Well, you're talking about personality, which doesn't yeah, really doesn't have make any a difference. whole bunch to do with gender. With gender. Right. It yeah, that's part, right. Hey, it's yeah. a big deal. I'll tell you, uh, gender is a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> it is. That's true. <laughs> but as far as opposites right attracting. Maybe not for you or you or even you. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. It does All right. Things. All right. There's Hate to ram names. it through, but. Oh! Uh, yeah. oh! oh <laughs> We're now on to issue number <laughs> four. Yes. If you want to keep your hubby, is it best to keep him chubby? <laughs> a study from the University of Tennessee, Go Commodores, concludes that the secret to a happy marriage might be as simple as the wife being slimmer than her husband. A four-year study suggests that in the short term and long term, both partners are more content if the woman has a lower body mass index. Men appear to stay in the relationship at the start because they are attracted to the thinner partners, while later on, women feel confident and loved because they know their man still wants them, unless they pork out. Now, the authors note that it is the relative size that matters, not absolute weight. So, ladies, you can gain a few pounds so long as your man gains a few more. For further reaction, we turn to the happiest man on the internet. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk? He needs a man bra. Oh my, wow. that's what I was going to say. <laughs> a it's like, I a think man's he's ear. available. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to start with you, James. Buying this or not? Yeah. No, it, it's... Uh, <laughs> Okay. Happier marriages, um, or last longer lasting marriages. Um, yeah, I mean, I, women always seem to have a um, you know a self image thing. I mean, they want to you know look nice, whether it's for their man or for themselves or or whatever. So um, why not? Well, let's like this. Uh, you were married once, right? Wife thinner or fatter than you? Mm, thinner. Okay. So okay. <laughs> well, that goes one disproves the theory. Okay. okay. Okay, Frankie, uh, you buying this or not? Well, let's see. I've been married for 31 years, and I am have less body mass than my husband does, but males normally have more body mass because their muscles weigh more. So I'm not sure the 
theory so you, is correct. So you're stereotyping that men generally are more <coughs> muscular than women? Mm, yes. Okay, so we'll have to have the <laughs> feminists come in and, 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 and yeah, say this straight, guess, right? Yeah. But, but you're buying this, right? Yes. All right. So, Rusty, buy it or not? I could immediately disprove the muscular <laughs> theory straight away. But <coughs> yeah, Jim disproved if, the proof. Cool. If this was yeah. to hold up, that would mean if a guy was 400 pounds and his wife was a tiny little 395, then they would live happily ever after. <laughs> I'm well, just not so sure. Or more likely than not. More likely? Than Perhaps. Not. There you go. Well, no, or just body mass index. So remember, it's BMI okay. is what? It's height to yeah. weight ratio. Height, height to weight. weight. Yep. So, well, yeah. Okay, what's the Genetics. weight ratio to breast size? <laughs> Oh, see, I don't know. That's got to be a factor, factor right? But I'm thinking, <laughs> Jenna, you could ask. I don't not? know. I'm distracted by the breasts. Cover those. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, is it that the woman is thinner, like she's you know working out, she feels good about herself, or is that she's feeling uncomfortable, so she just gives her husband lots of cookies and good good food, and she fattens him up? And yeah, she's you know, just not as fat as him. Yeah, what's going on there? I, I don't know. Yeah. It yeah. could be multiple things going Strange. on. But I think the bottom line is, at least from the study, if your if your hub if the man is bigger than the woman, then it's okay. But so, wow. but anyways. You've all heard the notion a key to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? Mm -hmm. Is this a very is this a variation of this uh, saying? Well, we never Could bought be. that in the first place. You never bought it in the first place? <laughs> no. Your wife no. cooked for you then, right? Yes. Oh, didn't yes. work. Okay. When I no. <laughs> got married, I was thin. I was like 135 pounds, and my wife opened up a catering business, and I put on 35 pounds like nothing. When she got pregnant. She beefed up to 185 and passed me up like I was standing still. <laughs> and were you happy? I don't You have to decide what all that means, but those are the facts. All right. All right. No, we're divorced. <laughs> oh, well, so there, oh, there you go. One more question the exit, yeah, before we go. exit. Okay. This, now, this is for married heterosexual couples. How about gay couples? Rusty. Me <laughs> again? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the rep here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shirt. It's the really? shirt. <laughs> well, do you think it holds? What, what, I wish I was for right now. <laughs> it is a very heteronormative study, isn't yes. it? It's all about the men and the women. Yeah. And, and because for most places, gays cannot get married. <clears throat> that, yes. That's true, but you could talk about long-term partners. And yeah, but how would you do this? Okay, males are fatter than males. I mean, right. you know, yeah. you're studying the same. I well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> on that note. Well, on that note. <laughs> all right. Let's get, let's get, go to our second break. Okay. We're at our fact checking segment and coming back to us is Scott Birch in the newsroom. Hey Scott, how'd we do today? Uh, as usual, you guys did horrible. Uh, let's see. Well, ultimately look, uh, Jim, you're worried about your questions. Hey, well, if anyone who watches this show, both of them, they both know that you wing it, so don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rusty, uh, stop lying and say you don't have a computer. You do have a computer. It's just the fact of the matter is right now the San Mateo, the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office has it, and they're using this as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. James likes to keep his affairs quiet. Well, that's pretty easy consi you know, considering that all his affairs are with stuffed animals. He's the only one making any kind of <laughs> You're a furry? <laughs> Uh, Frankie, uh, you said that you can't fake it, but what I have heard is that you will fake it, but you charge an extra twenty dollars. Is that true? <laughs> uh, 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 I can't lie. Yeah, I can vouch for that. <laughs> you know, and, and another thing is, you know, Jenna, you know, Jenna's saying, you know, you're having issues with faking it. If you take some pointers from Frankie, maybe you could make twenty bucks a head too. <laughs> Oh. Let's meet after the show. show. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Jim, uh, you, we have our, our wonderful little Jim uh, that he's a virgin fun fact. So uh, Jim virginity fun fact number 15 is that he wonders about chicks faking it. <laughs> no, no, I don't, Scott. I just know they all fake it because then I write the check. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, That's gotcha. Right. So you know oh, they're faking. Now, uh, right? Jenna, what I have found is that you are actually the male version of yourself. <laughs> Ooh. You are the male version of yourself. And uh, one thing is, James, I don't want you to talk about, you know, Jim and being deflowered or anything like that. You know he had a rough time in prison. <laughs> <laughs> it was and, and I'm sorry, but like ultimately, James prefers the male version of himself. Ah. <laughs> uh, and one thing is, so Jim, my question is, if size is an issue in relationships, because you're kind of a thin, wiry guy... Does that mean that gerbil farm was actually a really good idea? <laughs> oh. Nah, because because the gerbils are jealous. 
<laughs> okay, and and the last thing that I have to say is, uh, Jim, the the way to your heart is definitely through your blow up doll collection. It's not a collection; it's one ISIS. I'm a one doll kind of guy. Didn't you get that? No, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm was it Monaga Miss Monaga Monaga doll? I don't know. Whatever. Monaga hide, miss. Monaga hide. <laughs> Monaga hide. I'm a Monaga hide. I like that. Monaga hide. <laughs> Monaga Monaga. It sounds like a, it sounds like a condom collection from Trojan. Uh, could be, but so, but you, you were happy pleasure. to hear that news, right? Right, uh, Scott. Being Which bigger you, than your wife, make being being bigger than your wife makes you a happy marriage. So you must have okay, a happy marriage, right? Well, okay, well, considering I'm like just a shade under the size of an oil tanker, there's really not much that is uh, larger than me. Dude, he'd have a happy marriage no matter who he married. <laughs> Given that. <laughs> maybe not that guy from the clip. Maybe, well, oh, yeah, maybe that. Yeah, Scott, you can marry the guy from the clip and you both be happy, right? Well, maybe, but I'm just saying, but like, honestly, if you are bigger than me, you do have your own orbit. Forget zip code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, own gravitational oh. field, you mean, right? NASA's <laughs> debating whether to add me as the ninth planet. <laughs> well, if someone was as big or bigger than well, you, well, quit showing your moon and they'd stop. Other. There you go. That's right. You'd be. So, so maybe yeah, we shouldn't let them happen. All right, Scott, we got a minute left. You got anything else? Um, no, but he's talking about me like showing my moon. But the fact is, is that you know, James, I need a little bit of time in prison. Your moon is much larger than mine. <laughs> really? What? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's uh, physically possible. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. You you know the uh, you, you know the starfish has now become Alpha Centauri. Come on, buddy. Talk. Ooh, okay. Well, Do you mean the moon or the no. crater? No, he's comparing James's whole moon to one one of his cheeks. I think that's yeah. pretty much uh, it. Right? All I know is last time he ordered a uh, delivery dinner, a buffalo showed up, showed up with a loaf of bread under each arm. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, are, are we really we going to fat go. jokes now? Is that what <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got about 10 seconds left there. So. <laughs> I think it was a fat joke. I don't know what to say for you, except maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's bad, man. <laughs> all right, Scott, I'm, that's your last word. So, all right, everyone, thank you for the show. Great job. Thank you for watching. Later. What was that? <laughs>